look at the dates and you'll be like, oh, okay. I'm Steve Sanderson, your host. This is Dave Houghton. How's it going? How are you doing? Houghton from Fancy Trash. Dave, hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate that, Steve. We're just going to get right into some songs and we'll talk a little bit later. Check one, two, baby. Hey. deeply concerned.
I'm gonna play some new songs I wrote. Kind of keep it um, keep myself on my toes, I guess. I got a few numbers going, but uh, this one um, is called Release or Rewind, back in the day when things you could rewind. So. <laughs>
sing a song about love. Oh. I have to have someone else uh, write it though. <laughs> Yeah, this is a Pete Townsend song called Let My Love Open the Door. So I ain't gonna do it.
But Elvis was a good guy. Nothing. I know I can stir the pot, but I, don't, I have a hard time saying he's the king, so he can chuck the everything and all. We can discuss in the parking lot. That's Domino, man. Wow. Okay. As, as production goes, this stuff was really good, man. You're like, wow, that's what a bass sounds like. Anyways. Um, yeah, it's Maybelline at the top of the hill. Wait till we get to the interview section, man. It's coming up, it's coming up. Yeah. See, it's so much easier just to be like... <laughs> out of tune, turn to talk, have a temper tantrum for free. But anyways, yeah, I got sidetracked with dogs and songs. That's good company right there, dogs and songs. I had a dog named Guapo, I, I sang a lot too. Give us a brief history. Where'd you come from? 
Well, uh, I'm from New Hampshire originally, like in the 80s, went to high school in Keene, New Hampshire. <laughs> and, um, and then I um, used to come to shows here in the high school days and post-college days in the early 90s. And so I went out to Colorado to like, find myself via skis and started playing in a rock band called the Ragers. And we did okay. We opened up for like Neil Young and Smashing Pumpkins and a bunch of other great rock bands. Um, and I just, we drove so much, man, that I just had to come to New England and just be home. And so I moved back here in um, 2002, Jay? Is that what yeah. 2002. Yeah, so I've been here for, yeah, probably almost 11 years now. Yeah. So. And you came back, you started a band called? And my band's called Fancy Trash. Yeah. And uh, I hooked up with a you like that? Cool. Hey. Yeah, it's, it's saved me from a few ass kickings <laughs> for myself. You um, got four records? Or? Um, this is our fifth record, but we just put out, I put it somewhere. But we have a new record out called As Is, so if you want to check it out. Um, it's done by a producer type engineer, uh, Justin Pizzo Parada. So, awesome, awesome. You know, yeah. I'm so junior, Thurston Moore. Yeah. He's worked hard in the valley as well. Sorry to rock locally, but that's what I do. Can we get it on your website? What is your website? Oh, yeah, our website's www.fancytrash.com. So, cool. So, I appreciate you asking. Hell yeah. I forget. So, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> um, all right, so let's, uh, let's get down to influences. Where, where, where does this come from? I was definitely a big Neil Young fan, you yeah. know, obviously in the out of the gate. And, uh, but uh, you know, that post punk movement in the late eighties kinda changed me a little. You know, I love I love classic rock, but I have to kinda be for my generation. So if it was Jane's Addiction, Flaming Lips, Helmet, you know, Smash and Pumpkin, you know, the list went on and on. So uh, I stole a lot of licks from those people, so I apologize. You know, you get by I get lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Something. Anybody in the audience have any questions for Dave before we get back into some tunes? All right. Let's All right. Cool. All right. All right. Let me. Uh... That's all right. No, I'm glad they do that. Gear switch up. Put on the floor. I'm gonna try a free board song, but I didn't. Uh... I know oh, my shit. You gotta take that. I can't. No, I can't. Good. <laughs> <laughs> all sing. Yeah, really. All sing. Really? Uh, sorry. If my drummer sings, I'll try. No, I won't do that to you, Jay. I'm sorry. Another round of liquid confidence when you have a chance, though. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Dave Hug. because I probably won't remember the one, two songs ago. Michael, do you have any requests or something? Or Sean, is that too lame to put you on the spot? I might come up and I wouldn't mind hearing Sinead too. Sinead's on? I don't know. I feel like that I might have, have to do my confidence. I'm doing it. <laughs> Yeah, so this is off our next, our last record. It's called uh, As Is. So this one's called My Confidant, which is the last song. It says a little goodbye to you. It's, it says, please like me for the next record. Dot gov. We even give some creams and lotions that you can see. Right click us to like us. <laughs> Don't want to hurt yourself liking anybody. We just played New York, so I'm with fucking Jay the Garden now. So. <laughs> so it's Beanie Sampson, thank you. <laughs> you know the story. It's my own fault. I don't you vlog myself. Oh yeah, there's good sound. Just deal with me. I'll pass it around later. It's a long ride. It's a long ride. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this guy's been tuning a lot. He's sweating. He needs a couple bucks. Yeah. Get the guy a beer. One of those old town guys right here. Tell me the other one was. Is that cool? Another yeah. Worm, let's get you a town. drink. The Worm Town. Worm Town for Dave. Oh yeah. Sorry. 
I was going to get some little joke and do some stuff. Anyways, my confidant. Here we go. Let me 
about all your guitars on the thing alone? Scales, nice guitars. Touch. It's fucking country club back there, man. Don't even look at it. I'm just a caddy. Right.
awesome, man. Hey, yeah. what about as it? That's your room? It might be a little rough. I don't know. What? I feel like you could, uh... I could probably pull it off, but I'm just gonna... Yeah? Take chances. As is. Take chances, man. Title track. So this is the title track. <laughs> we do a video on this song, and we you blogged it, and we sent it to friends, and we done what we could. I got a haircut, and uh, you know, fucking no one still gives a shit. <laughs> Here we go. Which one did you cut? <laughs> this this one. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Just, I love music, but the business thing, it's true. A friend of mine says you're better off being a coal miner, and I say, right. yeah. Moving on down. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's the honest thing I've heard in a while, so that's good. It's gonna be on the U Blog Nation. You know what's going on? It's gonna be everywhere, baby. <laughs> World fucking wide. Okay. Still, maybe I can clear the room. <laughs> Cyber wise, how do you <laughs> and to your heart, yeah, they just, yeah, they just stopped looking at the computer because I was so bad. <laughs> Parents would love me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 You rock. You rock. I just talking to my buddy about it, and you, you're as a performer, you're absolutely fucking fearless. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 You don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. We try. All right, so this is the Off the Map music series at Luthiers Co op in East Hampton, Massachusetts. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Stay Woo! Yeah. Thank you, Gabe and Steve. Thank you, and uh, thank you, Luthiers. Right on. Best of luck with everything, man. Right on. It's been pretty cool. You got a new it's album nice. out. The new album's called. It's, uh, it's called As Is, and you can buy it from me now, or you can buy it off our website, fancytrash.com. Fancytrash.com. And you gonna play some more? We'll get you another beer. We want yeah, you to. Yeah. We don't want you to overheat. Play, no, no. play all night long, man. No, I'll keep playing if you want. Um, yeah. A couple of couple, right on. A couple more things. First off, when we were talking about influence before, you forgot to mention the Who, but... Oh yes, I, you know, yeah. We've I've, been, I've been on a, the Who came for a couple of years now. So. <laughs> Is that something that's been happening for... I've always been into it, but they're like the best, ugliest, blue-collar band that I can think of. Right on. You know? yep, yep. What do they call themselves? It's like a bunch of geezers, you know? So I'm getting up there, so I can relate. Really... Right on. So I got a uh, question. What about new stuff? Anything happening now you like? What, for bands? Oh, yeah. 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 Songwriters. Oh, band. yeah, I definitely. We, Jason and I went and saw My Morning Jack a couple days. Yeah. That was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. And now Jim James doing a solo thing. There's a band also called. Uh, I mean, they're like on Rolling Stones. I shouldn't even push them there. I mean, they don't have to push anybody. We just want to know what you like. Cloud Nothing. It's pretty cool. It's you know, being produced. Uh -huh. You know, like a band out of Cleveland. <laughs> Alright, what about locally? You going to see any Oh local yeah, shows? Lo local stuff. I love, you know, your band, The Stunt Men, yeah. and uh, Mark Mulcahy, he's a beautiful person. Um, you know, I'm a fan of Lo-Fi, I'm like School for the Dead. Uh, there's, yeah, I, I, I rock locally if I can. You know, that's very important, just to kind of know what's going on. So, big hand for that. And Psych Tree Force playing a couple weeks. Woo! Yeah, that, I mean, I, I moved here because of the scene years ago. It was nice to come here and be like, oh, I can be along here and freak out without having to, like, sing Kumbaya and stuff. You can do a great version of Kumbaya. <laughs> As a matter of fact, what you do it next? I, I have, uh, no, no. I, I, did, I did it at a frat bar one time, man. It was, like, the weirdest thing. But it was so uncomfortably awesome that it was weird. You know? yeah. well, well, all right, what was the weirdest thing you've ever done on stage? Well, it was a fight happening, and that's one of them. The fight was happening on stage, and uh, not on stage, but on the floor. It was a real bad fight, you know, here in Jaws, kind of going. And so I just thought it'd be appropriate to sing Kumbaya, and everyone just looked at me like. Oh. And I, I didn't love bring that. any peace to the room. They did. Everyone was like sitting there holding hands, but the two guys were just <laughs> like made them mad, you know. <laughs> so that was kind of interesting. I mean, I'm sure there's some more, but I have to like think about that one. Now. There's a time in Albuquerque that was pretty weird too, where uh, somehow it was okay to bring a shotgun into the club. Um, I know that, you know, talk about you know, gun control, that'd be a good thing just not letting the guy in the club. <laughs> yeah. Maybe with a shotgun. He was the peacekeeper. He was the peacekeeper. No, it was, the one, it was a weird thing, like people were rushing the stage. I'm like, wow, this is like the Beatles and shit. This is what it's about. No, they were and, running away. And they were running away. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, time out, man. I'm like, holy shit, he's got a gun. We just left everything. Like, 60 of us got in the van. And, you know, it's fucked up. But, uh, yeah, that's probably the weirdest thing. But I'm, I'm sure you have a few tales. But. So, plans to tour for the record? You getting out there? You back yeah, out we, there? Yeah, we did um, like New England. We played Boston, New York, and a couple other places, and uh, did a lot of stuff locally here. Anything coming up you can plug? Um, yeah, actually, we're playing the Parlor Room on uh, March 9th. March 9th at the Parlor Room. Yeah. So, right there in North yeah, Hamble yeah, yeah. March 9th. North Hamledonia. Right on. All right. Play right, some more songs? Yeah, sure. We well, really so love having you. Thank hey, you. thanks, Steve. I don't think I can play any harder, so... <laughs>
This is a Nick Drake song I've been kind of struggling with, but uh, after Hurricane Sandy, this song seems kind of appropriate. I know it's kind of weird, but sometimes these guys just predict the future.
melody sits in your head, man. Yeah. It's a very talented fella. Um, so I'm gonna do an old Neil Young song. It's um, it's called Albuquerque. Is that good for you, game? Does that work? Yeah. It's off tonight, tonight, right? Is that off tonight, tonight, or on the beach? I can't remember. Uh, Way into the cameraman. I'm sure Bruce hasn't milked that one yet, but, uh, you know. <laughs> yes. Hey, it was for you, Dave. Thank you. Ooh, Flowers. We're, we're going to have our people put them in your car. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> it won't last long with this cold weather. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, it was a full moon. Was it tonight? A full moon or yep. yesterday? <laughs> yes, it wasn't. It sure as hell looked like it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, ready for another round. 
to. Well, it's full enough. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna sing a song. It's called Halo Around the Moon. It was a full moon with a halo around it. There you go. There's a fucking song for you. Nice. It's a Steve Earle song. Only oh, he could be. Not that simple. All right. Perfect. Thank you all for being a part of it. Woo! Thank you, Dave. Woo! Thank you, Steve. Yeah, right on. Right on. Um, I don't think I have any more questions except. Uh, all right. Do you do you hear songs that people write and you're like, shit? I wish I wrote that one. That motherfucker beat me to it. Yeah, that was one of them. I just played. <laughs> but the nice luxury about writing, you know, writing songs and learning songs, it's like. Um, if you just learn it, it's yours kind of thing. It's like cool. Like I know like Steve Earl's not gonna come through town and play it, you know. Steve a lot. Earl, Steve Earl's kinda tough. Yeah, it's a tough book. Yeah. So I'll I'll play it and I get to enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I you know what I'm saying? You want you want to, so you're going on camera now for the whole world to say you wanna fight Steve Earl. Dave <laughs> Steve Earl? I did not say I said I want to, I like playing his songs, dude. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. Same thing. No, I'm just saying that, you know, I get to enjoy his songs. It's like a couple great lyrics and melodies. It's like that with any song, really. Just uh, then being a musician, you have the luxury of, of playing your favorite songs, and it's free, you sure. know? So you don't have to, like, put it in the jukebox. You can just play it yourself, you know? Yeah. It's kind of a simple 
thing, being a kid from Spofford, New Hampshire, you know, it's like AM radio in the 80s, so. New Hampshire. Things have changed, man. Yeah. So now here I am, can play it in the cyber world, and so that's pretty yeah. interesting. Cheshire, and, Fair, Cheshire Fairgrounds. There you go. Yeah. Cheshire yeah. Fair. Anybody have any questions for Dave? When did New Hampshire get out of them radio? Um, Question is, when well, did New Hampshire you know, get that well, radio? Well, what happened? I wrecked my first car, and then it, and my parents punished me <laughs> and fucking gave me an AM radio. <laughs> And that's a good thing to do for the kids. If you wreck your first car, just give them the AM radio. And then you're, so you're like hoping for like jukebox Saturday night. Ooh. <laughs> it's terrible. Are there any um, any original gems you can pull out for us? Stuff like even pre-Fancy Trash or first Fancy Trash album, anything like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I'll play awesome. some old stuff, man. Cool. Dave Hogan, everybody. Woo! Something special or whatever you want to do, man. You can do the reaches. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should I do a harmonica tune? It sounds a little better with the multi multitasking. You guys know how to do it. Look at our camera guys like you blogging as we eat squid. Nah, his wife's saying, when are you coming home? Uh, <laughs> no, not even. He's, 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 he's struggling. He's got to the other end, man. I just, you know. Who are you swiping? He wants to know who the beer, beer, beer. Keep your track. Yeah. It's weird that as an artist you can be swiped now. Not touched. Not touched or swiped. Get away from me. Uh, Better being poked, I guess. Super poked. Yeah, if you can, you be one doing the poking. <laughs>
Well, actually, I'm, I'm here for an entirely different purpose, but... Hey, you're fucking drunk. Bro. Oh, 